Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking all things piercing related. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys all about infected piercings, what to look for, what's normal, what is not normal, and just give you a few little tips and tricks on what I do personally if I ever happen to get an infected piercing, things like that. So I'm also going to be doing a video very similar to this, talking all about healing piercings and what's normal for a healing piercing and what is not normal. So if you guys are interested in hearing more about this, then stay tuned and let's get started. So the first thing that I want to say is infections can happen in both new and in old piercings. So if you have had a piercing that you've had for a few years and you start to notice it starting to hurt or act a little bit weird, then I will tell you what to look for. Or if you have a brand new piercing and you haven't been taking care of it very well, infections can happen that way as well. So a few of the things that you need to look out for when you do have an infected piercing is the number one thing is redness around the piercing. Obviously when you do get a new piercing and it is healing you will experience a little bit of redness a little bit of pink around the area that's just very common but there's a difference between like healing red and infected red infected red is just very inflamed very swollen just not not very pretty another thing that kind of goes along with the redness is if you feel any sort of heat coming from the piercing or the area around the piercing feels very hot that can also be a sign of an infection as well that's just your body's way of kind of telling you hey like there's something really kind of funky going on and I'm not feeling too good. So any sort of really, really dark redness or heat coming from the piercing, if you are having any sort of pain or soreness. Now, again, if you are someone who did just get a piercing like maybe a day or two ago and you start to notice that there is a little bit of pain, that is very normal with a new piercing. And I kind of like to, there is a huge difference, at least in my opinion, between the pain that comes from a healing piercing and the pain that comes with an infected piercing. For me personally, I noticed there's a really big difference in between the two. Just kind of keep an eye out if you're having like really severe pain, redness, and heat coming from the piercing, that could also be a sign of an infection. Another thing to look out for is if you have a fever, you check your temperature and it is a little bit higher than normal, or if you have anything over 100 degrees, you do have a fever, and if you are noticing saying like any of those other things that I just mentioned associated with the fever that could also mean you have some sort of infection especially if it has some sort of pus coming out whether that be green brown yellow again when you do get a piercing and it is healing you will notice a liquid coming from the piercing that's just lymph that's just your body's way of kind of attacking that area and kind of healing it so there is a difference but if you notice like it's a dark green or a dark yellow or sometimes it can be brown that is also not a very good sign especially if it is associated with a very foul odor those are some other things that also come with infections as well again I just want to say I'm not a professional piercer I am NOT a nurse I am NOT a doctor everything I am telling you in this video is basically just based off of my own personal experience with piercings and some of the things that I noticed with past infections on my piercings what I really really noticed and those are like the top things that really stood out to me so just keep that in mind if you are having any sort of you know other symptoms Symptoms associated with that that are really really severe whether you're feeling lethargic dizzy lightheaded make sure you go see a doctor right away but one thing I want to say is try not to overthink it there is a huge difference between infections and healing don't think just because you get your nose pierced and the next day it starts to hurt that doesn't necessarily mean it's infected you will definitely know if it's infected or if it is healing so just try not to overthink it too much try to be really level-headed about it and you will be just fine now one thing to do if you do start to notice some of those signs and you think okay I might have an infection some of the things that you need to do the number one thing is do not do not under any circumstances remove the jewelry from your piercing the reason I say that is because if you do remove it and the piercing hole closes up while it is still infected you are basically trapping the infection inside of your body and it can start to spread to other areas or it can get really really severe so always make sure you leave the jewelry in you can always apply ice or some sort of hot compress and that will kind of help with the swelling you can also take some ibuprofen as well to help with the swelling and also hot compresses will help to drain it and leaving that jewelry in will leave an exit for everything to kind of drain out and for the infection to kind of breathe I know doctors and some people always say if it is infected take it out right away I 100% do not believe in that another thing is do not move it do not play with it don't try to twist it because that could make the area even more irritated and another 
another thing is as soon as you start to see the first sign of an infection, that is when you need to start acting very quickly. You don't want to wait for it to get any worse. Kind of like when you get like a hypertrophic scar, you don't want to wait for it to get even bigger. You really want to kind of nip it right in the butt right away and you really want to kind of cure it right away as well. So once you do kind of figure out that you do have an infection going on with your piercing, you kind of have to start all over and you kind of have to start babying it for a while. Again, you don't want to over clean because that can be just as bad, but you definitely want to make sure you are cleaning it, that you are doing certain things to kind of attack the problem right away. So one of the top few things that I like to do is I make sure my hands are always clean. I always wash my hands with antibacterial soap. If I'm in the shower, I will wash the piercing very lightly with antibacterial soap. Again, you don't want to go too, too hard because you don't want to hurt it any more than it already is hurting. Another thing is, of course, sea salt soaks. You can do those again. And hot compresses. Ice for swelling and hot compresses are like the top two things that have saved my life with piercings. When I had an infection in my date piercing, hot compresses and sea salt soaks cured it almost instantly. It really kind of helped. The hot compress kind of helped drain everything out and the ice kind of helped with the pain and the swelling. Now, it really kind of all depends on the person. It kind of all depends on the piercing. There are just many different factors that come into play depending on how long it'll take to, for the infection to actually go away. Everyone's different. Some people it can take up to a few days. Some people it can take up to a week. The one thing I do want to say is if you have an infected piercing and you notice that your symptoms are not getting better or they're not subsiding or it's getting worse within a week or two, make sure you schedule an appointment with your doctor right away. It could be something more serious. You could have something like an abscess or some sort of staph infection which is not good. So make sure that you are keeping in touch with your doctor. Um, even if you have, wanna go see your piercer first and get the advice from them, that is fine too. But just listen to your body. That's like the number one most important thing. Your body will tell you when something is wrong. So always make sure you're listening to your gut, listening to what your body is telling you and what it's showing you, and just make sure that you're taking care of yourself and that you do take action appropriately. Another thing I do wanna say quickly before I end this video, if you're using Q-tips or, or any other sort of utensil to clean your piercing. Make sure those are always clean and sterile. If you are using Q-tips, don't ever use the same Q-tip twice. Use one, clean it, grab a new one, and clean it again, okay? Don't use the same Q-tip over and over because you are just going to be putting you know, dirty bacteria over top of something that you already just cleaned. Okay, guys, and that is everything that I have for this sort of infected piercings video. Hopefully, this was helpful. Hopefully, it gave you a little bit of insight on what's okay and what's not okay. I made this video mostly for just someone randomly scrolling on YouTube looking for this advice. If you're someone who is a subscriber of mine and you've been an OG subscriber, then you kind of already know all of these things. So regardless, anyone who is watching this video, whether you are just someone scrolling on the internet or if you are a subscriber, hopefully this video was helpful to you. Hopefully I gave you some really helpful tips and tricks on how to deal with this sort of thing. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to give me a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out all of my other social media links. Those are always in the description box as well. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys.